Hey, what's up, y'all? It's popping this D Boss React to this video by Jubilee. This is another one of their sex ed videos. I've done a few of these. These have been very educational, very entertaining. Uh, if you've seen the other ones, this one is called What is Smashing Like for Straight Men? So we're going to, you know, get into the details of what sex is like for men. Um, I imagine it must be the greatest thing on earth because they are so thirsty and, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and trying to find sex, you know, uh, any means possible. And it's just like, child, obviously not everybody, obviously. <laughs> but, you know, I've seen some some hoops that men have really jumped through just to get sex. And it's like, damn, is it that serious? Like, maybe they're experiencing something on a whole other level. I don't know. But anyway, we're about to find out. Let's watch. Are you afraid to do butt stuff? <laughs> yeah, uh, <butt> stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. How often do you actually think about sex? I would say I think about it like a couple times a day. Once you've had sex, it just naturally crosses your mind, I think. Not like consistently. I used to have like, a septum it'll piercing. It'll pop in. When in I college. Was virgin, <laughs> every single hour of every single day. After that, maybe once a day. When did you lose your virginity? How was it? I actually lost it in October oh. of 2020. It was not the way I imagined it because I come from a religious family. Come on, visit my family. Wait until. I get married. No, it was like a late night snap call. I actually lost it pretty early, around 14, and oh. it was by far not the best uh, experience. I'll admit, like, it wasn't the best. Obviously, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I thought it was great. It wasn't like how you would think like porn is, yet it was still good though. For a long time, no, I actually thought that I had really really young onset erectile dysfunction i had like this incredible anxiety when it came to sex and so every time there was an opportunity to have sex it just it's so cute my <laughs> i love dorky dudes I don't, I don't know what it is body i've dated many dorks was not on the same page there was actually one person in particular who i'll never forget but she was like laying on this bed and she was like wow you have a naked woman in front of you and you, and you can't get hard you mm. know there was just a flood of like all like the feelings of like inadequacy and all that I had been thinking was going to happen negatively in my sex life did happen in that moment. Do you get emotionally yeah, attached something. to girls you have sex with? For me, it, it, it's based more on the relationship that was built as opposed to how much sex we're having. It's hard for me to have sex without emotion and I, I find myself like missing that person after. I was like a late bloomer. Like nothing Same. in high school, and then, like after high school, and then in college, like then like girls started paying attention to me. So I was like, I could care less about being emotionally attached. It was like any girl that I was m m mostly attracted to, I was like, great, awesome. You know, you maybe kind of suck as a person, but like, oh well, like we'll figure that out later. <laughs> I'm, I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> How much do you understand the female anatomy down there? Can you name all the parts right now? Down there? Isn't it just one thing? I'm not well, a vagina, scientist clitoris. or a major in anatomy. I should not even this. Vagina, good start. Okay, yeah, <laughs> literally it's just the vagina, right? That's it? So I know the clitoris. Well, the clit, right? I know what the clitoris is. Something major or something minor. Labia? Mm -hmm. I don't think lips are, a, I don't think that's the real name. Yeah, <laughs> this is pretty dumb, but urethra? Oh, and the hood, right? I think I read that somewhere. Vulva? That is it. I mean, how much stuff could there be down there? How do I do? Cool, I'm gonna watch YouTube videos after this now, I guess. Can you describe how it feels to ejaculate? Does it feel like peeing? I would say the only time it feels like peeing is like when you're holding it for a really long time and like you're trying to get to the bathroom and then finally you're just like, oh. I don't know, it's like a buildup and then it just like, it's like a wave that just, whoosh, you know? But after you look, you feel gross, like most of the time. Really? I've like heard it, it's from like most guys, like once I know, like I feel gross. Do you care if a girl is fully shaved down there? I don't really think it's like my place necessarily to be like, you know what, actually, can you change this for me? Like, I feel like that's kind of weird. I'm a big fan of just vaginas in general. 
However they're packaged, I'm with it. <laughs> I do prefer cleanly shaved, but either way is fine. Yeah, as long as they're hygienic, for sure. Mm. Do you care if your partner doesn't finish? Yes. You better care. Everyone should care. Exactly. Oh my I like uh, him. What y'all do? <laughs> I feel guilty if I don't. When it comes to sex, Joking. a large portion of that pleasure comes from seeing the other person's pleasure. If I am with them and I'm like dating them, like yes, actually like it's the first thing at my list. Like she has to finish. If it's like a little hookup, like I don't. To be honest with you, I don't care. Like. I was more worried about myself. I'm not going to lie. I See, that's the other reason why I'm not a fan of casual sex either. Because of everything that I would hear from, like, male friends and my female friends. Like, yeah, if you just casually fucking somebody, the guys, they don't care. So, it's like you're not even getting a good experience. So, what is the point? Like, I've had many points in my life where I'm just like, hmm, I've never had a whole phase. Maybe I should have a whole phase. But it's shit like this that make me be like, nah, I don't need no whole phase. Because <laughs> what is the point? It's like, it's so much more fulfilling when you're with someone who actually wants to please you and they actually care about you and they want to make love to you. Like, it's just so much better. Like, why have all of these quick, random flings with people? I just personally don't see the benefit as a woman. A man, of course, that's something different. They might, of course, they get a lot out of it. <laughs> and they could just finish and be done like all right bye but women it's it's much more complex it's not as easy for us to orgasm so i think it's so important for you to have you know fulfilling experiences with people that you actually care about you know you ain't gotta be in a relationship with them per se but uh, hmm. i <laughs> am like selfish as soon as it comes to like hookups a I'm lot dating, of men. Like, i'm making sure that's all i really really like care about when I was in my my long-term serious relationship, I don't think she ever got an orgasm, at least for me. So later in the relationship, I was just trying so hard. I was reading up on a lot of stuff, uh, just to see like, what can I do to make this happen? And it just never happened. But it's a huge hit to the ego. I'm like, oh man, I wonder what that feels like, just because I've never, I mean, I've never experienced that, to be quite honest. Have you ever questioned your sexuality? Absolutely, 100%. For a long time, people like were like, oh, yeah, like, they would assume that I was gay, etc. And for a while, I just hated that assumption. But eventually, I decided to take the time and be like, hey, you know, maybe what if this is the case? Um, and I think I did my due diligence and like trying to be honest with myself and recognize what was and was not interesting to me. And as such, I think I came to a definitive conclusion. I'm definitely team vagina for sure. I knew very early on that. <laughs> I like, love that response. I love that. I think you should explore your sexuality 1000%. Being a man, it's so much pressure on them to be so masculine. And I'm straight. I only want to push the fuck up. Get that gay shit out of here. I, oh, that get on my nerves. But <laughs> men are just conditioned to think that way. But it's nothing wrong with seeing if that is for you you feel me get some hair from a dude or you feel me see <laughs> make out or something with a, a random nigga you feel me and see if that's for you if you even have a little bit of curiosity why not explore that of course if you have no curiosity whatsoever and you can 100 percent be honest with yourself and say hell no i don't want to do that then don't but if there is honestly some curiosity there why not explore that and see if you're into it. and if you're not then it's okay keep you know fucking with women if you are into that too it's nothing wrong with being bisexual you feel me anyway i, I like that he was on somebody I, I had my first girlfriend when i well, my first girlfriend when i was in in first grade i had my first kiss uh, with the girl when i was in third yeah no i was it's never something i questioned yeah i uh i grew up in a mexican household so um like black. so latinos uh they're very be manly and mm -hmm. be this and be that. And, that's a lot you know, of people like color. Anything that doesn't involve whatever a typical man is, whatever that means, um, they were just like, no, none of that. I've kissed a man or two. Um, I think that's maybe the extent of, of experimentation. Um, have I thought about it? Maybe once or twice. I've lived in the Midwest for all my life and everybody over there is pretty conservative. So growing up in that, I was just known to like women for the most part it was a passing thought at one point i did think about it especially after moving from home but then i wouldn't feel that genuine connection with another man so i wouldn't act on it i love this honesty i love these videos about your penis size. of course all um no 
Oh. Short answer? Well, let's see. So the, the straight answer is yes, because there's an unfortunate stereotype with people of hey. my ethnicity that goes around, not saying that it's true or false, but with that stereotype, it gets to your head just a little bit because, I mean, you don't know if it's true or false, especially like when I see myself naked and it's like, mm. okay, Maybe is small. this normal? Is this not normal? I don't know. Especially as a black male. Damn me, I'll let um, you know. You know, there are a lot of <laughs> expectations that are very... I'm joking and do not send me your penis or I'm blocking you, all right? Like, that shit is... Ew. I'm blocking you. Don't send me your dick. I don't very, want to very, see very, it. very, very lofty. You expect <laughs> to have, like, a very large Damn, penis. Damn, I'm talking to seeing um, dicks in my dick. Sorry, let me... Let me rewind. Penis. I'm talking. And so for a long time... I, I want to hear what, he, what my bag got to like, say. Okay. Is this normal? Is this not normal? I don't know. Especially as a black male. Um, you know, there are a lot of expectations that are very, 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 very lofty. You expect to have, like, a very large penis. Um, and you realize that you don't have a very large penis. Yeah. And so for a long time, I think what was what my a lot of my anxiety was rooted in was me being a disappointment. Um, and not meeting those expectations in real time. It's something that, that gets a lot of focus. When you go to the store or like, and you buy a pack of of like boxers or something you're gonna see a guy who's ripped and he's packing like 10 to 12 down there this is the thing men are so uh, <laughs> conditioned to believe certain shit that is not necessarily true i have had many 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 female friends who don't even like huge dicks i don't like huge dicks either if it's too big i don't what the fuck you're destroying me <laughs> it doesn't feel good it's painful if it's way too big so men are so focused on i need a really really big dick like no you don't nobody want that you watching too much porn you listen to your male friends too much women normally don't want huge huge dicks even when they're saying oh big dicks a lot of the time they just be talking honestly trust me i've been around a lot of women they just be talking shit but when it comes down to it and we actually having conversations about our, you know, experiences, if it's too big, we don't like that. We'd be like, mm, it wasn't, I wasn't comfortable with that. <laughs> it wasn't feeling right. I was like, all right, I'm over this. Like, females will fake it because they want it to be over quickly. Like, women don't like huge, huge dicks for the most part. From my experience, of course, there are some who may like huge, huge dicks, but I don't understand the how you can be pleased from that unless you have a huge huge vagina i guess but for the most part no you know, it's like what the hell like is that what we're supposed to look like no when you enter like middle school you start to watch porn and like you see these see guys and like in the scenes and they're like and then it just makes you think like oh i can't compete with that look at me are you free to drop to try butt stuff yeah, I don't want anyone coming near my butt. What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think if I were the receiver, yeah, I'd be afraid. <laughs> and I, I think I'd be afraid to even, to even be the giver. The giver. I don't know. I've heard some horror stories. No, I don't know. I'm, I'm a little nervous. I, I, yeah, I'm a little nervous, but like, I think I gotta try it at some point. Oh. I'm open to it, kinda. I'd say. If I walked out this door and there was the opportunity to get pegged, I probably would decline. Hey! <laughs> and I don't, I, I don't even know no, if I could say phone. why. Because I don't, I know I'm not gay. It's not a question of like my sexuality. I, I wouldn't say afraid. Mm, I could be talked into it. There you go. I could be talked into mm -hmm. it in the right place in the right time. I could say yes. I ran into that topic one time and just to, you know, avoid double standards, I gave it a try. And not for me. Oh, oh. Wait, wait. I think they. It depends on what you mean by butt stuff. Because I was initially thinking, like, you know, just like playing with it or whatever. Maybe kind of sticking a finger in there. But he said peg. That's when somebody puts on a full blown strap and fuck you in the ass. That's completely different than just playing with their asshole. Like, first off, I ain't doing either. Because fuck out of here. You ain't doing nothing with my ass. And I don't want to do nothing with y'all's because. Men don't even be that clean like that, ew. Um, but yeah, butt stuff could definitely vary. <laughs> oh my god. So I did try it and I did. didn't like it. It was it was actually the first time I had sex. I see your finger like going see ya. and then I was finger. like, whoa. Tried it, didn't like it, but if you're into that, okay. he looks tall too. <laughs> All right, how do you define consent? How I define consent is, is kind of question. both parties agreeing to do something that they both feel comfortable with. 
I usually like to ask, are you comfortable with this? Are you comfortable with this? No. And if it's yeses all along the way, great. If somewhere in there, um, I'm not comfortable with like some safe word, like banana or something, then it's just like an instant stop. Consent is an unequivocal desire at a given moment to engage in any specified activity with another person. And that includes sex or things that are not sex. No. No. No, I haven't. What the heck? <laughs> I wish that were a thing. That'd be dope. No, it's usually me that has to has to do with asking. And that's okay. Yeah. Even when they did, like I, I was kinda like shocked. I was like, oh wow, was like you actually care. I was like, yes, like I do want to say something. Like, great, like thanks for asking. Have you ever pressured someone to sleep with you? Do you regret it? Oh. Absolutely not. And I would regret it. Yes, I've never done that. That feels horrible. That's so no, terrible. I've never done that. You know, sex just isn't worth that to me. Right. And that's something that Fucking that the rapist. other person would have to carry with them for the rest of their lives. And, and that's something that I'd have to carry with the rest of my life. It was like me and my girlfriend and, you know, I was in the mood and she wasn't. So maybe I was trying to sweet talk her a little bit like, hey, come on, just not that, if anything. Never to someone, never to a stranger, never to anyone that... I was just acquaintances with who was more like a serious girlfriend or someone that I was really comfortable with for sure. Mm. Yeah. Still, I, I don't give a fuck if we together or not, nigga. If I said no, it's no. Don't fucking play with me because I'm gonna start getting aggressive. I said no. You feel me? If you ask twice and it's like, okay, you see, I said no twice, then I'm definitely <laughs> not fucking with it. You say something a third time, like you giving me rapey vibes, and I, I don't, I'm not feeling it. Um, no means no. When I was younger. Relationship, marriage, yeah, I, or not. I regret it. You know, because oh, now the way that I look at sex is it, it's something special. And you shouldn't be going around and, and sleeping with everybody. Um, it, should, it should be with someone that's special to you. Uh, and if you ever have to convince someone to have sex with you, then it's not worth it. Right. I definitely felt pressured from my friends. But I, I take to responsibility people? for my actions. You know, like I am in control of my body. And it was my making. So. Yes. Yes. I um. I thought I made it pretty clear to her. You know. No, I'm. I don't want to do. I don't want to do this. You know, get off of me. Um. So. Yes, I'll answer that bluntly. Have you ever felt? Okay, this is the last time I'm pause. It's almost over anyway. I actually dated this guy who said that as well. He said that he was at a party in college. He was really drunk. And he said, next thing you know, he was in the room. And the girl was on top of him. He's like, what? Like, I'm trying to go back downstairs. And she was just, like, real aggressive. And he was like, all right, whatever. And he said that he just felt like, okay, like, she really wants to, I guess. But he said the whole time he was thinking, like, I don't even want to do this. Like, I just want to go back downstairs. Like, I'm not even into this. He said he wasn't even hard out of the way, but she's on top of him. And, yeah, I was like, um, that definitely sounds like rape. But he was just like, yeah, you know, I didn't think that much of it. Like, it's whatever, because I'm a dude. Like, whatever. So, men definitely get taken advantage of sexually sometimes as well. But they don't really want to talk about it. And they definitely don't take it seriously because they feel like I'm the man. Like, whatever. But that's the thing. You, no means no. If you don't want to, push her off of you if you got to. And get the fuck up out of there, you know? pressured by peers to lose your virginity or have a sexual interaction yeah more like pressure with like the world and culture because sex is such a big thing especially for like young guys i was in a fraternity in college coming into my pledge semester i was the only virgin in the fraternity it was almost like an event every friday saturday every time we had a party it was all i could think about like i couldn't even think about school most of the time just because all i was thinking about was like i don't want to have this label anymore I was sick of it. Just the stigma of being a virgin is like, this. we shouldn't feel bad for being a virgin. Right. Honestly, if I'm gonna be completely honest, I find myself doing it. Bro, you better have like sex with her or else like, you're just a, like a freaking like loser, bro. And it's like, okay, but like, what if I actually like the girl? And like, I don't really wanna have sex yet. Like, I might have feelings for her. Like, I, I don't wanna take it that fast yet. It'll happen, like relax. We know you're horny. Just, it's fine. <laughs> It'll happen when it's gonna happen. And don't put a lot of pressure on yourself. It's different for everybody. And you should take the time to understand yourself and be honest with yourself at the end of the day. 
Oh, I love them. This was such a great conversation. I really loved how open and honest everyone was. I love these videos. They pick some really good people to actually be very transparent with their experiences. So I fuck with that. This was an interesting video. Y'all let me know what y'all thought though. Let me know what other videos you want me to watch and I'll see you on the next one.